Hello, good people of God. I trust you're all doing well. I want to use this opportunity to welcome you all to the message where daily we load Christian content for seasoned men of God. Hi, dear. We want to build a community and a family with you. So if you're new to this channel, I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then like this message for us because we want to build a family together do what to always comment in the comment section and share this message abroad. I want you to share on your WhatsApp status. I want you to share on YouTube for us, even on Instagram and all social media platforms. I'll see you again. Be blessed as you listen to this message. So speaking in tongues is a greater walk of the name of Jesus. A greater walk of the name of Jesus. Every child of God can speak in tongues. But you see, every child of God doesn't speak in tongues. Why? Because some people have been taught the wrong things. Jesus said emphatically, He that believes. Do you believe the gospel? If yes, then this sign shall follow them that believe the gospel. Can somebody say very loud, I speak in tongues. In the name of Jesus. I speak in tongues. Tongues is a greater walk. Say it again. Tongues is a greater walk. So speaking in tongues, the Bible tells us it's a sign to those who don't believe. It's a miracle. How we communicate with God in a language not known to humanity. That's a miracle. How we communicate with God in a language not known to humanity. And how God communicates with us in a language not known to humanity. I, I'm telling you that's a miracle. First Corinthians 14 verse 2 says, For he that speaketh in an unknown tongue, First Corinthians chapter 14 verse 2, Speaketh not unto men, but unto God. For no man understandeth him. So tongues is not human language. No man understand it. How be it in the spirit? So tongue is a language of the spirit. In the spirit, he speaketh mysteries. He communicates with God in a language not known to humanity. And God communicates back to him in a language not known to humanity. That's a miracle. How be it in the spirit? So speaking in tongues is a proof that our spirit has been recreated. Speaking in tongues is a proof that our spirit has been brought back to life into union with God. It's a proof that we are born again. Speaking in tongues is not for Pentecostals. It's for believers. <laughs> Somebody said to me, Dr. Damina, are you a Pentecostal? I said, no, sir. I'm a Catholic. I'm a Catholic. Not Roman Catholic. I'm a Catholic. The word Catholic means universal church. I'm not a Pentecostal. It should be Jewish people. <laughs> That's for another day. <laughs> Glory to God. So greater works refers to what Jesus gave after he rose from the dead. And tongues is a greater work of the name of Jesus. Let's speak in tongues for a few minutes, everybody. Jigango London Bembre Naganglen and Monto Kunda Galana Hata. Lebro Sekila Namaya. Je Jungla Namambre na Contola Namambro Nangle ne Monto Koske Diana Hata. Aha, helemo je kelina mambra, rakoto minga, legalo no momose kelina mamambre negida gale ne mosaya. Ha ha Now thus saith the Lord, you are hearing me right there where you are. Get rid of fear. Fear has been the hindrance to your free flow in the supernatural. Get rid of fear. I said in my word, I have not given you the spirit of bondage again to fear. 
but the spirit of adoption whereby you cry, Abba, Father. I said in my word, I have not given you the spirit of fear, but of love, of power, and of a sound mind. So get rid of fear. Yeah, don't be afraid. And somebody there says, but if supposing I speak in demon tongues, you cannot speak in demon tongues when you believe the gospel, you receive of my spirit. My spirit possesses you. Therefore, evil spirits will not speak through a property that is possessed by the Holy Spirit. So you can just boldly release yourself Get rid of fear and let that language on your inside flow out of you. It's already in you. Whether you accept it or not, doesn't deny the fact that if you have my spirit in you, by virtue of believing the gospel, you already have that language. But if you do not flow in it, you restrict yourself from the greater things that I will reveal to you and from the greater things that I will do with you. So yield yourself and let go and let my spirit take you over and bring you into realms of things that belong to you in the spirit so you can take delivery of all the privileges and rights and of all the benefits that are yours, says the spirit of God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. So get rid of fear and flow in the spirit right now. Let it flow. Let it flow out of you. Listen, he says, He that speaketh in tongues speaketh not unto men, but unto God. For no man understandeth. It's not in the realm of man. The moment you begin to speak in tongues, you move into the realm of your realities in Christ. Tongues is the doorway into the supernatural. And don't be afraid. The Spirit of God just spoke to us right now. Get rid of fear and release yourself. Just abandon yourself in faith. And see how the spirit of God will move you from the natural into the supernatural. The realm where limits, impossibilities don't exist in that realm. Glory to God. Now, <clears throat> so tongues is a greater walk of the name of Jesus. We hope you've been blessed by this message. And as you've been blessed, we want you to bless others by sharing this message abroad. If you're new here... Kindly don't leave without hitting on that subscribe button for us. Hit on that notification bell, like, and then comment in the comment section. We'll see you again on the message. Stay tuned.